Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. I just got this box from DeWalt. I don't even know what's inside of it. I thought, let's do a little reactionary video, man, and check it out. I don't do these too often, unboxings. Usually I can't wait to, wait to show you. I usually open it up and look at it. So I did take it out of the cardboard box it came in. Um, I know it's from DeWalt. It's part of their tough series of something. It says never back down. So uh, don't ever, don't you ever back down, says DeWalt. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, okay, okay, here we go. Introducing their Tough Series. Tough Series, hand tools are designed with industry shattering innovation to stand up to the most extreme conditions. Harsh job sites demand more, so be ready with premium hand tools that never back down. I read that upside down, are you impressed? Click subscribe if you are, okay. All right, looks like we're gonna get a tape measure, or two, maybe there. Man, maybe there's a couple in here. But this is about, okay, so, man, they say you can drop this 100 feet? I don't believe it. Now we have to go find a 100 foot ledge somewhere, Calvin, and test this theory out. We're gonna go find a building in Tacoma somewhere and we're gonna drop this off the building. Oh, I wonder if we could set it up on our drone. Let's put it up, take it up 100 feet on our drone and then drop it. Anybody out there that has like a mechanism we could drop from our drone, send us one and we'll try it out and we'll promote you for it, okay? Or leave a comment below. I know there's like a fishing lure thing that you can like fish with a drone and it drops your lure. So maybe we could use it to drop our tape measure. Maybe we'll go 101 feet. So uh, these are available now. There's a 25 foot tape measure. There's also a 16 foot and a 35 foot right here. They're all dirty. These ones are dirty. I don't think ours is probably dirty. It's probably gonna be clean like this one over here. So it has a contoured case design. You know what? Oh wow, there's a bunch of screwdrivers in here too. Here's the tape. Oh man, that's, oh look, it's two-sided too. Look, it says DeWalt on it. Wow, it's a 25 footer. These are like my go-to tapes, man. I, I really do like these. Um, you know, I usually, I'm a Fat Max guy. I'm like a Stanley Fat Max. And I know Stanley and DeWalt are like the same parent companies or sister companies, or maybe they're, you know, twins or something like that. But this has a really nice, man, this has a really nice recoil on it. It's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong recoil. Okay, so one thing I, I know, I've taught you guys this before. Oh, this one has a magnetic tip on it too. Let's test that theory. Oh, check it out. Two of these screwdrivers are impact screwdrivers, which means you can blast them with a hammer and they're magnetic. See how much recoil that has? Ooh, check it out. Got a new weapon. All right, we'll get into the screwdrivers in a minute. Let's finish talking about the tape measure, Jason, okay? So this is a 25 foot tough series tape. Man, if I would have realized this tape measure was in this box, I would have opened it like a week ago and you guys would have been out of luck. It just would have been screwdrivers we would have been talking about instead of tape measures. Um, this thing feels really good in your hands. You can tell it's got good recoil. So the biggest tip I can give you about a tape measure, put your finger right here, see that? Never, never let your tape measure do this. That's bad for it, okay? Always do it this way, okay? That'll save miles on that tape. Could save you months. My tapes don't last months because we work in the dirt and the rain and the snow and the ice and the sleet. And uh, once tapes get dirty and they get wet, even though you clean them, they just don't last as long. But, you know, ni nice tape. Really nice tape. I'll probably uh, put that in my personal collection. I have about five or six right now I'm, I'm working with. And I always get angry when the guys use my tapes. I put a little, um, I always put a little symbol on them, like a little heartbeat symbol like this. And then I know it's mine. Because nobody else on the job site does that. Because it's my logo. Okay? So there's that. Now I'm going to go straight for the, the jugular on, on these tool, on these screwdrivers. It, and if I could juggle, I would. But I can't. So I won't. I can stab though. What do you think of that? Huh? All right, so these are some really cool screwdrivers. Uh, we got a Phillips and a standard, number two. Uh, they have a hex shank, which is kind of cool. A rubberized handle, which again is really nice for grip. And then these two, I really, are. these are gonna be my faves. These are gonna go into my toolbox, I can tell you right now, because they're strikeable which means you can hit them with a hammer, you can you can tap on them, you can use this like a chisel with a hammer, you know, they're, they're really uh, made for impact. 
And then we just have a regular set of uh, screwdrivers. There's a number three Phillips, number two Phillips, number one Phillips, a number one square drive, a number two square drive. Now, where, is the, where are the labels? Oh, okay. Well, that one's on the ground. But it doesn't say which, do you see anything on there? I can't tell. It doesn't say what number it is. So here's a slotted. So that's a small slotted and a medium slot and a large slot. So I think it's cool that they they put that on there, but I think they should have also identified the size of the head of the screwdrivers, in my opinion. But like I said, this is an impressionary video and that's my impression, you know? Okay, here we go. All right, that's as good as I can do. Let's try this. Let's see how well they stab into the grass. Try that again. Try it again. All right, pretty good. All right, guys. You know, I guess it's kind of cool that these screwdrivers are labeled like that. Now watch this. I know, right? Uh huh. Kuras. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Ugh. All right, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw today, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out new content, which is usually three days a week. Uh, comment below and don't forget to like our videos. I guess the most important thing, though, is to probably the most important thing is that you click the subscribe button. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Over and out.